Hi everyone, welcome to our channel RMJ Tales. In this video, we are going to show you some amazing, interesting toy options. How many toys, Maria? 20 toys. 20 toys. See, usually when we buy toys for our kids or when we want to gift toys for other kids, we'll be so confused. So we want to know like um, which is the best option we can buy or we can gift. Um, this is a toy review as well and also toy suggestion based on our experience. So we are going to show you 20 toy options which we really love and which we found really useful. So when we buy toys, we want it to be really useful so that kids will play with them. So these are 20 toy suggestions which will be really useful for kids. All the toys that we mention in this video are available around the world. We will be linking the links to the, these toys in the description box of the video. So please do check out the links in the description box. Another thing I wanted to mention about toys is whenever we select toys for kids, it should always be age appropriate. We will be mentioning uh, each toys and age category which it is suitable for. So if we don't select toys which are age appropriate, the problem is the kids uh, when they play with toys that are, you know, doesn't belong to their age category, it can be too overwhelming for them. It can be difficult for them to play with. So it uh, instead of engaging them or making them enjoy, it will be stressing them out. So it should always be age appropriate. Another thing is when we select toys for kids, it should be gender neutral. Well, yeah, is there any toy that you think is only for girls or only for boys? No, because, for example, what if, like, Barbie is not only for girls and what if boys are also like Barbie and yeah. they're not allowed to play with it. So that's why, like, boys can play with Barbie and girls can play with cars and, like, whatever they want. Yeah. So when we restrict children to any specific toys, it's like we are reducing or restricting the play options they have, the possibilities they can explore in toys. So it should never uh, be like restricting boys to only specific toys and girls to specific toys. We shouldn't think that if girls play with uh, cars, you know, they'll become or develop traits of boys or if boys play with dolls, they'll develop traits of girls. It's perfectly fine for children to play with any type of toys. We are going to give you a quick view of the 20 toys we are going to cover in this video. On number one, we have doll houses. Number two, magnet tiles. Number three, nerve guns. Number four, Lego. Number five, puzzles. Number six, stunt cars. Number seven, toy camera. Number eight, kinetic sand. Number nine, play doh. Number ten, train set. Number eleven, fidget toys. Number twelve, play tents. Number thirteen, party mics. Number 14, jewelry making set. Number 15, pretend play sets. Number 16, pool. Number 17, writing tablets. Number 18, dolls plus toys. Number 19, cycles. Number 20, makeup set. On number one, we have doll houses. So doll houses is always a very good gifting option uh, for kids. Uh, if kids like to play with dolls or, you know, minifigures, doll houses are very good options. We have here doll houses from Barbie. The first one is a Barbie Chelsea play, uh, playhouse or a doll house. Uh, this is suitable for kids 3 plus years. They have around 20 plus accessories. This doesn't come with the Barbie uh, dolls or the Chelsea doll, but there are uh, the doll accessories and the playhouse accessories. The second type here we have is a Barbie color reveal house. This is suitable for kids from 6 plus years. There are a lot of options and accessories available in this dollhouse playset too. On number two we have magnetic tiles. Magnetic tiles. So these are basically magnetic blocks. Uh, these are like blocks or tiles or building blocks that are magnetic. So they come in different colors, different shapes and sizes. Uh, you have like squares, then you have rectangles and you have flat tiles as well, like square, triangle. And you have uh, tiles in these shapes, which where you can use them for making windows, buildings, 
castles and you have uh, some of them with wheels so you can make like vehicles uh, these are like wheel options and these are very good engaging toys for kids um, because they keep them engaged for long hours and your kids never outgrow these toys because they can be played throughout a lot of years uh, these are suitable for kids from three plus years you can also use it for two to three uh, year kids as well provided they don't put them in the mouth because these come with magnets in them and the key thing to note in these uh, magnetile toys is that they should have uh, more pieces the more pieces you have you have more options for building or constructing more things so the one we have is from mag hub uh, there are a lot of brands out there so you can check out uh, which one is suitable for you this is uh, having 65 pieces and it also comes with like a storage bag so any toy with storage options is good because then it, uh, you can put the toys back in these storage bags uh, when they are not playing with them. guns so these are um, suitable for three plus years there are smaller models which are suitable for three plus years the one we have here is suitable for eight plus years so this model is the elite 2.0 commander rd6 this comes with the gun and a cartridge that can hold six bullets at a time and also additional six bullets so this has a power of 27 meters so you can imagine how powerful it is so it's always better to uh, have kids use the nerf guns with adult supervision uh, the uh, more bigger it gets uh, you know it can be more powerful and it can be painful so it should never be used on people that should be something very important to be noted and these are very engaging it's it can be used for target practice and there is a misconception that using guns can make kids violent uh, in future but studies or research have shown that there is no relation between kids uh, playing with guns or using gun toys and their behavior in the future. On number four, we have Lego classic. Lego sets. So uh, Lego is one of our all-time favorites. Lego is an option that can be used for all age categories. For kids who are smaller, like two years and smaller, you can have the Lego Duplo set. And for all ages three and upwards, we have a lot of varieties. You can see our video on Lego where we visited the Lego store here in london where we explain all the lego categories that are available we will link it up here please go and check out the video where you can see all the lego options available uh, lego can be suitable for kids who are even uh, older than 18 years like the older children also can use lego so the option uh, we have here the set we have here is from lego classic and the model number is 10715 uh, this comes uh, with all the Lego blocks that can be used for making what all, Maria? Robots. Uh, you can make an ice cream cart, you can make vehicles, you can make a puppy on a skateboard 
and you can make a petrol station, a scooter, a camper van and it also comes with a instruction book, a manual uh, which shows you what are you know the steps you can uh, you have to follow in creating all these models which they have shown on the box. So the Lego is always a good option as a toy. Number five, we have puzzles. Puzzles. So puzzles is a good option for all age categories from one year olds. So when we choose puzzles for kids, we have to uh, take into consideration the age uh, because the age and the number of pieces in the puzzle is a very important factor. So we'll give you a guide uh, what age category and what is the number of pieces that you should be mindful of. The one we have is from Ravensburger. So this is suitable for six plus years, this uh, set, which has uh, around 100 pieces. And um, there are uh, different types of puzzles, like wooden puzzles, uh, cardboard puzzles. So uh, puzzle is always a good option for kids. These puzzles are two piece puzzles that can be used from one and a half to two or above two years. These are shape sorters that are made of cardboard that were used by Maria when she was smaller. These puzzles are preschool puzzles that are suitable for 2, 3 and 4 year olds. You can see that compared to the previous one, this puzzle includes more shapes. You can see that while completing a puzzle, children need to remember shapes, colors, positions and strategies to complete them. Puzzles are also a great way to build cognitive and fine motor skills. These puzzles are good for two and a half year and upwards. It teaches them color, numbers and counting. This is a good wooden puzzle that has numbers on one side and alphabets on the other side. When completed, it makes an animal, here a camel. Puzzles also help develop the ability to plan and test ideas. It improves mental speed. Puzzles also increase the production of dopamine, a chemical that regulates mood, memory and concentration. So it's good for adults as well. On number six, we have stunt cars. Stunt cars, stunt cars or remote control cars are good options for kids. It gives them an opportunity to explore like operating a machine or a car for the first time. And the set we have here is uh, suitable for six plus years, but there are sets like which can be used for four plus years onwards. And this one comes in two colors, uh, red and green. And this has a car that is uh, in red color. Uh, this is operatable using a remote. And this car has a rechargeable battery, which you can uh, recharge using a USB cable. Uh, it can do 360 degree flips, rotations, and there's a remote that comes with replaceable batteries. So this is also a good option as a toy.
On number seven, we have kids camera. Kids camera. So this is like a toy camera. This is suitable for kids from five plus years. Uh, it's like a first camera experience for kids. They have like their own camera to play with and explore the options. This one uh, that we have comes uh, in a lot of different colors as well. And there is this box itself. We can use it for storage. There are various other brands that are available in market for kids camera, even Polaroid ones where they can print out the photos. The one we have here, this one uh, is pink in color and, and it even comes with like a cover. You can use it with or without the cover and there's like a string so it, ch uh, children can wear it uh, so that when they're using it, they don't accidentally drop it on the floor. And this, yeah, you can just wear it and this one uh, also comes with a usb charging uh, option so you can um, charge it using a usb cable there are no batteries and uh, at a time you can store around 20 to 30 photos if you want more memory there is even a slot here a memory card slot that you can add and the photo quality is average i mean it, it cannot obviously match the photo quality of adults camera or smartphones but uh, as a first time camera it's very good for kids and it can keep them engaged like for long hours what is your experience maria with this camera it's very fun and i love to play games and take photos and i went with this to india and i even took some photos of my grandparents and especially my cousins too and the same and I even took like a movie. Okay and you have like some games as well right? There are like some funny sticker options they can use on photos to make it more funny. Yeah so this is like a very good option for kids. On number eight we have kinetic sand. Kinetic sand. So kinetic sand is something like a sand, but it's like more softer and it little bit sticks together. It's also like Play-Doh, but it does. it's not like as hard as Play-Doh and it's um, not as sticky as Play-Doh as well. It's more softer. So this set, uh, kinetic sand set here uh, we have is um, having three colors. So the more colors they have, the more options they, they can have. So this one, they can use it like for molding into different shapes. Like uh, they can have molds. Some uh, kinetic sand sets come with the molds. So they can make castles, shapes, animals. So it's a very satisfying uh, toy option. They can make the different shapes. They can cut it. It's a very good engaging toy option for kids of all ages. Uh, more suitable for three plus when they don't put you know things in mouth so it's a very good toy option for kids kinetic sand is made from a mixture of sand and polymers it is less gritty than dry sand and very moldable like wet sand it is soft and crumbly but also holds its shape when squeezed or pressed it can be molded into different shapes even for adults, a video of cutting kinetic sand is intensely satisfying and soothing. Please do check our video in the description box for 10 different play options using kinetic sand. On number nine, we have Play-Doh. Play-Doh. Play-Doh has been one of our all-time favorites. It's good for all age categories. You can start using Play-Doh from as early as 15 to 18 months. But just uh, remember that it's always better to use homemade Play-Doh for the smaller kids as they, they have the chance of putting it in their mouth. So I will link down the description, um, the video where we are making the homemade uh, Play-Doh. For older kids, you can always get a store-bought ones. Uh, we have here one from Play-Doh, but there are other, uh, you know, store-bought um, 
options as well where you can get it from store uh, this one has around 50 tubs in different colors so the more colors you have the more options they have of making a lot of things so why play-doh means uh, you know you, it improves the sensory uh, strength in kids sensory um, means it, it it builds the senses all the senses when they play they use all their senses so it's good for building their sensory strength for fine motor skills like how they can use their uh, hand and eye coordination when they are making kid uh, toys or when they're making like models with the play-doh and it improves the finger strength for smaller kids uh, it improves the finger strength for holding molding you know and making different shapes uh, so in every sense this is a very good toy uh, the play-doh and kinetic sand are like good options for kids on number 10 we have train set, train set. so train set it uh, can be like wooden or elect electrical train sets uh, the one we have here is a wooden train set uh, we have like bridge and there are like wooden tracks so these tracks they are like uh, on one side it's like road they have the road track marks and other it's plain so you can use it like a rail track or a road track and it comes with a train um, if you're using it as a train track you can use a train and a car if you're using it as a road track and there are like a lot of mini small figures like of animals um, people trees and there are like signs road signs uh, traffic signs and there are like stations train station police station hospital a lot of signs that say so this can be used like a pretend play where kids uh, play like in a small city um, and they can uh, use the cars the trains so it's a good engaging toy for kids Putting the pieces of a wooden train track requires hand-eye coordination and fine motor skills. But more than that, children need to plan where each piece will go. They need to choose the correct pieces of track so that they can incorporate bridges, tunnels and level crossings. Hence, this builds problem-solving skills. On number 11, we have fidget toys. fidget toys. So fidget toys, there are like a lot of variety of fidget toys. We'll show you a few of them that we have. One is a Rubik's Cube. We, we all know how we play with a Rubik's Cube. It's a very engaging toy. Another one of the fidget toy is a Poppet. Uh, pop so Poppet is something like a raised... You know you just press it and it's a very engaging toy this one is suitable for babies uh, from one year old uh, it's an engaging toy for them there are various other options in pop it like bracelets you have here another type of a bracelet uh, this is another kind of a bracelet and you have keychains maria what is this keychain it's a hot keychain for my teacher miss ralph so this was a keychain that was gifted to Maria uh, by her teacher from year one. Uh, so you get pop it in keychains as well. And also you have bags. You have like small bags where you have like pop it on one side. And you have big, bigger bags as well uh, where you have the pop it. And another type of uh, fidget toy is a spinner. This is like a spinner. And you can uh, keep it on a surface or like hold it in your hands and you can spin it. And another kind of fidget toy is a twisty pet. So this is like a bracelet and it's kind of a stretchy material with beads where you can twist it and make, you know, different shapes like animals. Yeah. And another kind of uh, fidget toy is this tangle. It's called tangle. Uh, you can twist it you know in like in different shapes and this is also one of the fidget toy 
so fidget toy is a very good option for to uh, for toys uh, and it can also be used when you're traveling to keep kids engaged when they are traveling these are basically handheld all these fidget toys are hand toys you can hold it in your hands and you can play with it so there are a lot of benefits to these uh, fidget toys um, they are known to reduce stress anxiety depression and it also can be used in people where they have you know sensory issues and it improves the concentration as well and keeps people and kids engaged we have the stress balls uh, so these are also like used by adults not just kids uh, when you know they have a lot of stress and to calm them down so all these uh, come under the uh, category of fidget toys here is a close up view of puppet puppet is made of silicon material with pokeable bubbles similar to a bubble wrap once you finish poking on one side it can be flipped and repeated on the other side here is a close up view of the twisty pet fidget toy Here is a close-up view of the fidget toy called Tangle. On number 12, we have play tent. Play tents. So play tent is one of the all-time favorites for Maria. Uh, and I'm sure it will be a favorite option for all the kids. So it's a good option when kids want to play like um, a home, when they want to imagine or pretend play a home of their own. And they can use it as a small private space for them to play, read books, uh, relax and even chit chat when they have their friends or cousins over. So play tent is a very good option. The one we have uh, is a pink play tent. It comes in like a bag. It has a storage bag as well. We'll show it how it comes when it's opened up. And uh, what do you play in school, Maria? So I play families most of the time and that's mostly like my favorite, favorite game. Yeah, so she likes to play families. Even at home, she comes and asks us, can we play family? So this is like a ho small house setup. So they can use it like for playing families, home, pretend play basically. Yeah, so this is a very good option. On number 13, we have party mics. Party mics. So these are uh, rechargeable mics. Um, this is one option where we uh, have. Uh, so these mics, this is another option where we have uh, disco light on the other side. 
so these mics they come with microphone and speaker together and these are rechargeable with usb cables uh, so these are the two options which we have uh, the two mics which we have here and these are good for parties get togethers and it's a fun option for kids it can be paired with mobile phones tablets and can be used with a karaoke uh, for songs or for announcements or they can just pretend like having parties uh, and it can be used as a good option you are now watching RMJ Tales the 14th item we have is the jewelry making set jewelry making set or you can say like beads set so we'll start with very young kids uh, kids from 3 years up or uh, for this parents can use their discretion like uh, if their kids don't put uh, the beads in their mouth or they, there are no chances of them choking on it you can uh, start as early as two and a half years or 3 plus so for smaller kids you have like chunky beads like these so these are like round beads and there are beads like these that come in different uh, shapes like you have squares, uh, you have triangles, you have star shaped, you have flowers and you have the circle ones. So these, ca these have like holes in them and you can uh, teach smaller kids to lace the beads. So it's like a motor skill activity for their fingers for improving their finger strength. Uh, so it's good for babies, uh, for younger kids, I mean, uh, so you can choose like big chunky beads for the younger kids. For older kids, you have like jewelry making uh, sets where you, you have like various options to make different kinds of jewelry, like necklaces, bracelets, uh, earrings, finger rings and hair bands. So this is one set we have, a jewelry making set where Maria has used it for making uh, finger ring this is earrings and you have hairband and you have a bracelet and this is a big chain uh, necklace and some two earrings yeah earrings and a ring yeah so these beads uh, this set which we have it's uh, you know you can connect them like this it's easy to connect uh, you don't have to lace them or you know put it over a thread or anything it's they have both ends uh, connectors and you just need to snap them together and done so it's as easy as that so and they have also jewelry things like these and the different colors of them yeah it's, it's lot um uh, you know have a lot of color options here so it's very colorful this one and it comes in a box so with jewelry sets it's always good if you opt for sets with the box this one you can just carry it around and you can open it and there are two layers so you have like a below layer where you put the beads and a top layer it can be used like a workstation which has compartments and you know you can put the things there while you're making it so this is one set we have so another one where we have is a unicorn jewelry making set this also comes with a set with mirror and two layers so the top layer you have the beads uh, you can put the beads the lockets the pendants the uh, you know alphabets where you can make them on your like name uh, bracelets or name necklaces and the second layer also has beads and it has got bands and this is also a very good option and there's a third one we have that also it's uh, comes with a mirror and a small drawer and you have the beads and the necklace uh, this is a necklace which maria made with a locket so there are a lot of options out there for this jewelry making sets. So it's said that when you grow old, uh, like when you uh, reach retirement, uh, people use less of their, you know, brains. Uh, so this can lead to cognitive disorders. So even it's an uh, activity for uh, the elder people, uh, the, you know, bead making or necklace making. Uh, this is also an activity which can be engaging for elder people, um, stitching, 
uh, beading you know uh, jewelry making these are like activities which are very useful for the older generation as well uh, it keeps them engaged and keeps their brain active which is good on number 15 we have a pretend playset a pretend playset so what is a pretend playset pretend play or role play means kids are pretending that they are somebody and playing like they are pretending they are a doctor or a teacher or a chef so uh, they have there are like various uh, pretend play sets like you have a kitchen set so we have a kitchen set here which we are going to show you what do you have maria we have a jug a cup a plate and some cookies yeah and there's like a tea some vegetables so there are fruits and vegetables so this can be useful for younger kids also to learn what are the different you know there there are like pretend fake fruits they can learn what each is called uh, the and names stuff. yeah names of fruits and vegetables so they have like a stove where they cook and they have a lot of accessories coming with it so there are various options one of them is a kitchen set the others you you can have doctor set you can have various other options where they pretend they are somebody and do something like a shopkeeper so uh, in this the advantage of such pretend play sets it is that they give uh, kids the chance to explore different professions or different uh, options when they can choose when they grow up so they can experience what it's like to be a chef what it's like to be a teacher what it's like to be a doctor and they can uh, understand their own likes or dislikes towards a profession or a career so it helps them go through that uh, play phase and understand so it's a uh, pretend play sets are very good options as toys On 16, we have a pool. a pool option. So a pool is something that you can have your kids for playing uh, when they are outside, when they're in the garden. So this is a very good option. Uh, the one we have here is a pool from Intex. So Intex is a good brand uh, for pool. And this one here has even like a shower option, a shower option at the top. So I'll just uh, show you a close-up view of this. Yeah, so you have different pool options in various shapes, various sizes. They can enjoy some uh, time in the summer to play outside in water. So water play is something kids love. They love it very much. Do you like to play in pools? Yes, I love to play in pools so much because I like to play in the water a lot. And I like pools the most and once a shower because they are even more fun and we could even pretend like once with characters like this one is a dolphin so I even like to play with those ones because I could pretend like it's real and it's like that yeah so pool is definitely a good option when you are thinking of uh, gift options for kids on number 17 we have writing tablets writing tablets we can have these writing tablets for kids to develop their interest for writing and i'll start with smaller kids from around two and a half to three years you can start using magnetic tablets uh, you will get the ones where you draw with like a pen and it has like a magnetic effect so those are for smaller kids and you can also use the boards where you have this is the one which was used by maria when she was younger and these ones have a blackboard on one side and a whiteboard on one side and it comes with chalks and whiteboard markers so these can be used for the smaller kids for the older kids you can use the led tablets 
these are what you call as led tablets where the display is led and you have like a pen uh, where you write on it and you can uh, erase it using a switch here like you have the switch where you when if you switch it uh, off the writing goes away and there is also some boards where you have the whiteboard at the back and there are some boards where you have like a magnetic uh, attachment at the back you can put it on your refrigerator or any magnetic surface and uh, they have like a lock uh, they will have like a lock at the back if you put the lock even if you accidentally touch it it will not the switch it will not uh, erase uh, but if the button is enabled or it is on then if you switch off or switch on these buttons at the bottom it will erase whatever you have written or drawn so these are um, they come in like single colors the writing uh, can be in single colors or it can be like in multiple colors the writing uh, it's good for kids to have like their own writing surface when they start writing uh, so this is one of the best options for kids on 18 we have dolls and soft toys dolls and soft toys so these are good options even for smaller kids and bigger kids uh, you have like soft toys coming in the form of animals uh, where kids can play with them, cuddle with them. Even most of the kids, they go to sleep cuddling these toys. So we have like a puppy and a rabbit here. So what is this, Maria? So her name is Betsy. So this and is yeah, a, a rabbit uh, that uh, Maria has and its name is Betsy. Betsy. And many call her name Betsy and she moves. Yeah, this rabbit can move, walk towards you, make noises, move its ears. Yeah, so the more interactive the toys are, uh, the kids uh, will tend to like them more and they'll, uh, uh, they'll be interested more in them. So we have also some dolls. So dolls uh, are also like favorites among kids. Uh, they play with them. They pretend it's their babies or friends and even they go to sleep with them. So dolls are also favorite options among kids. Uh, Maria, what are your dolls? We have one here with some accessories like bag uh, and caps, uh, shoes or boots. And there are dolls that can make noises, sing songs. Yeah. And there are dolls that are interactive as well. So what can this doll do for you? This was also one of Maria's favorite dolls. What can this do? So when we pull her head and she can talk. Ouch, that hurts. Yeah, so when you comb her hair or move her hair, it, it'll say, ouch, it hurts. It can talk basically. So these are like good options for kids, uh, dolls and soft toys. On 19, we have cycles and school toys cycles and scooters so these are like always good options uh, for gifting kids for the smaller kids smaller babies we have the push cycles where you know parents can uh, push they have like a handle and they can push from the back where kids haven't started you know uh, cycling yet they can just sit on the cycle you can take them around by pushing uh, for little more bigger kids, uh, toddlers or little more grown up kids like three to four or five years, you can have the scooters, the scooters where you have like three wheels or two wheels. Uh, these are good options. And for older kids, when they learn cycling, you can have cycles. So it is, um, do you like to go cycling? Yes, I like to go cycling and mostly because like it's a very good exercise mm. for our body as well. Yeah, so you can take them to parks or, you know, uh, outside uh, gardens. You can take them so that they can spend some time uh, using the cycles or scooters. So these are good options for kids. On number 20, we have a toy makeup set. Toy makeup sets. So these are like favorite for kids. Uh, they like to pretend they are putting makeup on. Uh, it can be like uh, pretend ones uh, so we have like a wooden one where it's uh, not real makeup uh, where it's just you know like wooden set with colors uh, just colors it's not real uh, so this is like eyeshadow what else do you have maria so we have some brushes makeup brushes inside the eyeshadow we can open this up and put this on our face and that 
yeah there's like a foundation box with a powder puff um then you have what? some lipstick you can put that's like a lipstick this is like a nail polish so all these are not real it's just wooden so they can just pretend they are putting makeup on and some perfume some perfume and there, it also comes with like a storage bag um, you can put it inside and store it and also there are uh, for a little bit older kids you can have uh, makeup sets toy makeup sets which they can put it on uh, which are kids safe so you have to get uh, you make sure that they are kids safe uh, so this is one uh, such example where uh, when you open it you know it comes in like different layers you have like eyeshadow uh, there's a small mirror and this one is from Claire um, so you have this where it goes back in as a single compact box and Maria loves this so much and you have another type where there is like a styling head uh, you can uh, what do you do with this it's like a doll but only with the head part so you can style the hair you can maybe like pretend you're putting some makeup or some accessories jewelry so what all do you play with it so sometimes i play like makeup and i pretend it's like a customer and i do some makeup on her with this sometimes and i brush her hair i put some clips on her and I even love, love to play families and shops with this. Yeah, so she pretends she's like a beautician and she's running a salon and this is her customer and plays with it. So it also comes like with brushes, different kinds of brushes or clips. You can style it. So it's called like a styling head. So all these are uh, makeup, toy makeup toys, which kids will definitely love. And you also have some nail polish okay so that's our video uh, we hope you all liked our toy suggestions or gift options for kids uh, these are like suggestions which we have given based on our own experience and like over the years right from when maria was a small baby the gift options or toy options which we have used uh, and as I said, always keep in mind the age uh, category when choosing gifts and also the gender neutral uh, concept when giving gifts to kids. Also, we should teach kids to take care of their toys, uh, like not to uh, break them or, you know, spoil them. Uh, it's something we develop at a very young age to take care of their things. So that's something we can teach them. And um, we hope everybody liked our video and please check the video description box and please like share subscribe and comment to our video bye see you again in that adventure bye hi are we <laughs>